Welcome back, welcome back. You already know who it is. It's your boy Made Man Mellow coming to you back live off of a full stomach. We're coming to you with another Vinny Tube exclusive top 10 immortal bad top 10 badass immortal anime characters. Let's get it. They say that death is cheap in anime, especially a lot of shonen series. However, some characters just have immortality as a power. Talk about the greatest power of them all, or is it? After all, immortality can be a curse in itself, as we'll be seeing soon enough. For now, here are some of the immortal characters that I find cool, charming, or straight up charismatic. Cars. One of the most iconic villains in Jojo, Kars, leader of the Pillar Men, has cemented his legacy on one thing besides the massacre of his own clan, complete immortality. As soon as he becomes the perfect life form, well, Kars like has you. the peak that a lot of villains can Street only hope Frank. to achieve immortality. Unfortunately for him though, it's this much desired ability that finally does him in. After all, unkillable and undefeatable are completely different things, as he'll learn the hard way. Despite falling in just the second saga of Jojo, I still dare say that Kaz is the single most powerful character in universe, and that statement has a lot to do with his immortality. <laughs> Next, we have Demon Slayer's Bruh. demon predecessor, Muzan. For anime-only watchers, there's uh, surprisingly little that can be said of Muzan. He had his famous first appearance where he looked like Michael Crazy. Jackson, and his second <laughs> right. appeared as a woman and did the classic villain cliche of killing his own minions. Muzan's an outlier in this list, and he's actually not immortal in the literal sense of the word. For one, he was nearly killed sometime in the past, and two, he remains afraid of the sun. Given how hard it is to actually kill him and his longevity, he might as well be treated as an immortal villain, one that poses the biggest challenge to the Demon Slayer Corp so far. We haven't seen that much of Muzan from the anime, but trust me, when we get to the inevitable next season that covers the future arcs of the manga and Muzan's <laughs> backstory, you're gonna be in for a world of surprise. Just for a little hint Bruh. without spoiling you guys, let me just say that it's physically it impossible intense. to kill Muzan it was with intense. the traditional Demon Slayer methods. Ben. At number eight, we have one of the seven deadly sins. It's Barn. Some of the toughest and most badass characters come with the most tragic backstories. While I won't say that Barnes is the most tragic of them all, he sure has one hell of a background to introduce. Once a bandit who sought immortality, Barn would set his sights on the Fountain of Youth. A run-in with the Fountain's guardian, Elaine, would cause the two to develop feelings for each other. Alas, happiness doesn't last long for Barn, and a demon attack would lead to Elaine's sacrifice. She grants Barn the immortality he long wanted while sacrificing her own life. I guess living forever sucks when you now have to deal with that kind of emotional baggage. But luckily for him, he meets Meliodas and joins the Seven Deadly Sins. With new adventure on the horizon, <laughs> redemption could be at hand for Barn. Yeah, hilarious pair. <laughs> Next on the list is the notorious dark wizard, Zeref. Being immortal has its perks, but for some, the inability to die also comes as a curse. In Zeref's case, immortality is seen as the latter, because in reality, Zeref found himself struck by a curse, one that kills all that he loves. On the other hand, the said curse does give him immortality within the meaningless abyss of life. Fans who just started watching Fairy Tale would be surprised to know that the one known as the darkest and most evil wizard of them all was once a promising wizard with tremendous power, orchestrating many events that led to the present timeline in fairy tale. He was just a tormented youth who failed to find happiness in every corner. Then, all he wanted was to die and get it over and done with. Too bad that he's immortal now, right? After seeing how far the world has gone and what crimes have been done in his name, Zeref then orchestrates a great war, hoping to one day find his freedom from the life that chains him to this world. Hope is on the horizon, as he believes that he'll finally find the sweet release of death in this war. Kiss shot. Kizuma. 
Here's someone you didn't expect to see on this list, right? Everyone's favorite lolly vampire is here and she can pack one hell of a punch. At full power, Kishot is by far the most powerful character in the series and she has had a lot of chances to show off her power in the entire Monogatari series. How could you match a vampire girl capable of literally ending the world on a whim then finding herself alive when it's all said and done? Kishot, a character who got tired of life and tried killing herself, but of course, that didn't stick now, did it? However, in her more popular iteration, she mostly had- Hold up, y'all not just gonna do that. Y'all, y'all not gonna act like my man's skin was a damn Jason mask. Oh, no, I mean not Jason mask, a Michael Myers mask. No, y'all not gonna do that. No. No, y'all not just gonna throw that in there. Series, and she has had a lot of- Y'all not gonna throw that in there. He get fucking face palmed in the fucking face. And you telling me my dog whole face got turned into like it got hit so hard his face turned into a damn Michael Myers mask. Okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to show have to see this. Power in the entire I'm going to have to see series. this. How could you match a vampire girl capable of Holy literally shit. ending the world on a whim what? and finding herself alive when it's all said and done? Kishot, a character who got tired of life and tried killing herself, but of course <coughs> that didn't stick now, did it? However, in her more <coughs> popular iteration, she mostly hangs around Aralagi <coughs> and acts as the series' resident legal lolly. She's over 500 years old, okay? She... She... I can't. The father of the homunculi and the one behind everything wrong in the series, you'd have expected a lot from him. Everyone's expectations were on point, as the moment father made his presence felt in Full Metal Alchemist, we all got a glimpse of how overpowered he is. The destruction of Xerxes gave him his signature immortality, but his power goes way beyond that. To say that he's almost a god in the world of Full Metal Alchemist is not too far from the truth, actually. Given his capabilities, it's no surprise that he holds humans with such disdain. In a somewhat literal sense at the end of the series, Series, father really became god over puny humans who could only hope to contest him with pathetic alchemic powers. His own pride is most likely the only key to his undoing. Okay. It's already a given I, that I'm gonna have to watch, like, I'm not just starting Zura right now. Find himself on this like, list when I'm done, I'm gonna have to just watch. His impressive track record of wins in battle aside, what makes Atsuro so scary is his immortality. Those regenerative powers are insane, I'm telling you. Even if he gets burnt with no trace of him remaining, he still finds some way to keep coming back. The slightest remnant of him would result in him piecing himself together again in some form. Never mind the combat skills and expertise with the sword, all previous Gintama villains are nothing compared to the beast that is Utsuro. Where else would you see an arc driven by a villain seeking his own death because he's just too overpowered and immortal? I guess Zeref kind of counts, but it's quite a different context and Utsuro is just more broken and cooler in universe. That's crazy. Alucard's not your everyday vampire. With him probably being the most overpowered and broken anime vampire there is, it would be more accurate to call Alucard a force of nature. The Blood Knight vampire that lusts for battle has remained one of the most enduring characters from the 2000s thanks to the cultural impact of Helsing. In addition to his unique vampire powers, Alucard of course has some stock powers such as transformation. One of those is the classic vampire immortality, only that his version is extreme enough. Few can match Alucard Alucard's regenerative capabilities, as much like Utsuro, blowing him to bits will not stick at all. There really is no way to kill this monster. Along with his other powers, that kind of immortality is enough to give Alucard a high spot on this list. The only reason that he's not at the top is because his charisma is bested by just one other character in shonen anime. <laughs> Bless me. Motherfucking nice. How could we have a top immortal characters list and forget one of the most popular mainstays and most charismatic villains in Bleach? Ambitious, driven and manipulative, Aizen has made a name for himself as one of the most influential anime villains in the 2000s. While I think that a part of Aizen's staying power in the series stems from his cunning and raw power, what bore him completely over the top is his immortality thanks to the Hogyoku. Look at it this way, even if his body were to be completely eradicated, as long as the gem exists, Aizen would be brought back to life 
high, stronger than ever. Removing the gem from his body also doesn't work. There's just no way actually around his immortality. You cannot kill him. All you can do is try to contain him and pray that it sticks. But given how right. thorough of a chess master Aizen <laughs> right. is, good luck with that anyway. <laughs> Aizen finally got his wish of standing tall at the top by beating out nine other contenders for the title of the best immortal character in anime. That what can't bring please back soon Looks like death please is cheap please we home. need it how would you gain we need it guys in a battle to the death we need it i can't like wait for, for that trailer like to come out man sure when i tell you the internet will break for the next video the internet for the next will one. break you understand me top 10 badass immortal anime characters let's go i like that list and some of those animes i'm gonna have to start this week i definitely have to especially gintama it's it's nowhere around that i've seen too much of that anime to not watch it in that uh kizu gon kizu gonomono I'm, I'm probably butchering the name with a girl that made my man face a damn j uh michael myers mask yeah i gotta see that too so uh yeah cannot wait this is good ass list, bad ass immortal characters and anime. Awesome. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. This is your boy Made Man Mello. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace.